Another hidden Social Security benefit that uh, really uh, shouldn't be hidden. My name is Ed Weir, a retired district manager of the Social Security Administration. I help people throughout the country with all things Social Security, Medicare, the Affordable Care Act, survivor benefits, spousal benefits, disability. So give me a call. My help is always free. And uh, let's see if I can find you some more money and some more benefits. All right. I was just talking to uh, Larry and uh, yeah, he's lost uh, thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. This is called Auxiliary Child in Care Benefits. And as I say in all my videos, uh, I should say more often, if this doesn't apply to you, great. But I guarantee there's someone around you that it might apply to. So please share, um, subscribe, like, and that way this video gets out to more people. Um, so people like Larry will stop losing all this money. This is unfortunate. Uh, um, it's, a, it, it's just an issue of knowledge of not getting the information. And this is 100% the fault of the Social Security Administration employee that originally took Larry's claim. It was uh, from what it sounds like it was over 10 years ago. So he is, he was receiving disability benefits, but this applies to retirement, disability, any, any type of benefits from Social Security Administration. If you have a child and that child is under 18 years old or became disabled before the age of 22 years old, that child is entitled to benefits on the worker's record, whoever is receiving those benefits. If you have a child that is under 16 years old, 16 and under, or became disabled before the age of 22, and you have a spouse that is essentially staying home to take care of that child or disabled child, then that person, that spouse, can also receive benefits as well. And this is where Larry lost those tens of thousands of dollars because he wasn't informed of that and now you are and unfortunately it's a um, it's not necessarily too late for larry so i told him to go ahead and and uh, um, contact social security administration and see if they can reopen his case and see if they addressed that issue initially with them if it's a social security issue that they made a mistake then what they can do is reopen that and correct the mistake and then pay back all the benefits. So hopefully that happens uh, for Larry. So this is what's called the auxiliary child in care. And how much you're going to receive, it really depends, you know, 50%, 75% depends if, uh, if it's a survivor issue or uh, someone that's, uh, that's still around. Um, but there's also what's called a family max. So social security since the 1930s, um, uh, has what's called the family max. So there's a maximum that can be paid out on a particular record. So if you have a disability person, retirement, whatever, and let's say the family max is $3,000. And how do you find out how, what your family max is? Just go into my uh, ssa.gov, set up an account there, and it'll tell you where the family max is. It's kind of hidden there, but it'll tell you what your family max is. So let's say it's $3,000. And you as the disabled person is are receiving $1,500. So there's $1,500 left over. If you have three kids, then each child will get $500. If you have two children and a spouse who is, again, the auxiliary child in care taking, you know, the work requirements are still applicable. So if your spouse is working, making over this year's $21,240, then, it, you know, and wouldn't be able to collect or would be able to collect, but they'd be holding back $1 for every $2 they go over just regular, um, you know, work, uh, annual earnings limit. Um, and when the child turns 16, then those benefits will stop for the spouse, not for the child. The child will continue to get benefits. And there's all kinds of uh, strange different variables here. So that's why it's always good to call Social Security. And, you know, if you're, you're planning for your future, planning for retirement, uh, you know, trying to figure out how much you're going to get so you can budget, you know, call the Social Security Administration or give me a call and we can uh, play with the numbers a little bit. But uh, say, for instance, you've got uh, three kids. 
and they're each getting five hundred dollars, and the and the family max is again fifteen hundred dollars left over. So when one of the children reaches eighteen, or if they're in school, um, in high school, uh, the college thing ended. No more you know benefits in college. But if the child is still in school, um, the benefits will continue until they graduate high school or the, or they're nineteen in two months. Okay, so let's say. Um, the first child gets eight, becomes 18, you know, joins the Marine Corps. I joined at 17, but let's say 18. Um, then you've got $1,500 left over, and that is the family going to lose that $500? No. Then the $1,500 is divided by the remaining two children. So it'll be $750 and $750, right? And then one of the other children goes, you know, gets off the record, then if the family max, you know, if, if that person is, you know, their, you know, benefit is only, you know, $750, then there's no family max, so it's not an issue. And there's also um, Social Security, there's always exceptions to exceptions and everything is, it's a bureaucracy. So nothing is never, nothing is ever, you know, simple. There's also combined family maxes and windexing and all kinds of different permutations, combined family maxes. If you've got two people that are retired and you've got children, the family max is combined. And so, yeah, it's a, it gets a nice and complicated. So I'm not going to bore you with the, uh, the, the algebra, the, the, uh, all, the, all the math. Um, but again, all you have to call is, as I always say, call Social Security Administration, set up an appointment, talk to them about, uh, you know, What's going to happen? Okay, I'm going to retire, and it's going to be about this time. And I've got two children, and my wife is going to work. Uh, husband is, you know, going to, you know, not going to work. Whatever the case may be, and you can play around with the numbers. And I always say, you know, these uh, Social Security employers are not selling cars. So if you say I'm going to think about it, they are extremely happy. They would rather you not, you know, uh, file a claim. Um, because they'd have to take that to their desk and, you know, adjudicate it. And, you know, if you just say, okay, I'll think about it. Bye. And they're like, oh, okay, great. I can take a break for the next two and a half minutes to my next appointment. Um, so don't feel, you know, pressured to file. When you go into an office, you don't have to file. You can ask them questions, budget, you know, forecast what's going to happen in the future. That's their job is to give you those estimates and tell you what the details are in your particular case, looking at your particular record. Okay. All right. So if you have any other questions about this and uh, hopefully Larry uh, gets his money, um, I've did another, I just did another video on divorced spouse. It explains how to do the appeal process. So please check that out. Um, check out some of my other videos, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends. I'm sure they can find some money in the, in the videos somewhere, some extra benefits. Um, and give me a call if you have any questions, need any help with all things Social Security, Medicare, Medicare plans, the, uh, the Affordable Care Act. Uh, um, my help is always free. All right. Have a beautiful day.